take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good i'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you lord sing with me <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I share testimonies, the Word of God, and absolutely anything that the Lord places in my heart. Uh, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I think I am doing much better than yesterday. I praise God. I praise God for ministers of the Word. I thank God for it giving us a biblical perspective of what is happening. It was really beautiful to see, you know, preachers and ministers of the gospel come up with lessons and help us understand what is happening. And that was my, my main issue um, with my last video. So I thank God that right now I'm at a much better place and I hope you are too. And today, you know, when I was thinking about doing this video, I just asked the Lord, Lord, I just I just want to encourage people you know I just I just want to spread a message of hope if you watched my previous video I talked about the abuse of power and justice concerning the murder of George George Floyd and how it has affected the community and what is happening and I shared a little lesson about Moses if you haven't watched that video click right here go watch that video I know um, if you're like me you are just about done watching bad news and you just need some good news so here I am with some good news because we just need something good to cheer up the soul and to bring life to the bones and that is exactly what I have today so today I got some good news for you cheer up get up let's get to the word so i'm gonna share from revelation and you know the beauty about um, being a child of god the beauty about being in the body of christ is that you know exactly how it ends you know you know exactly how the story ends and i think um sometimes when you are hit with 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 some grief or you're hit with a moment in life that kind of just shakes things you tend to just be dull and sit in our misery and try to understand and feel bad for not understanding and um, I have found that in moments like those when I call unto the Lord he kind of literally just comes and swoops me up my feet and he gives me a new perspective and he shows me that no 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 this is not where the story ends the story ends with a win the story does not end with just people being oppressed and people dying and and people being separated the story ends with a new jerusalem the story ends with a new life the story ends with no more death no more sorrow no more injustice so i came here today to just remind you a little bit just to remind you how the story ends let's go to revelation chapter 21 verse 4 go down and the word of God says and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes there shall be no more death no sorrow nor crying there shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away then he who sat on the throne said behold I make all things new and he said to me right for these words are true and faithful and he said to me it is done I am the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end I will give of the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts he who overcomes shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son but the cowardly 
unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. See, I'm just here to remind you. I'm just here to remind you because I don't want you to grieve and forget that the story does not end like that. The story ends with a new life. The story ends with no more pain, with no more crying, no more bitterness, no more separation. There shall come a time when black people and white people shall live in harmony. And I prophesy that in Jesus' name. There shall come a time when there will be no more tears. There shall come a time where we will come together and unite as one and fight this injustice and look at the real enemy. See, the story ends with justice. The story ends with love. The story ends with peace. But there's one thing you must do. There's one thing you have to do. Overcome. Verse 6 says, And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. The word of God is telling us he who overcomes will inherit these things. See, I want to remind you, the story ends with a win. The story ends with a victory. But if you give up hope at this point, you know, we, we have got to see the world that the Lord is trying to bring up. We have got to see beyond the oppression. We have got to see beyond. You know, when we, when we, when we say the Lord's Prayer, we say, Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, I try to picture what it would be like to have the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. And you know, the moment I lose out on that vision, I give up hope. And I want to encourage you to keep that vision. Keep that vision. There shall come a time when we will live as united. There shall come a time when there will be no more cry. But you know what? We have to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We will come to a place where, we'll, where we will know the actual taste of what it is to be just. As you grieve, as you, as you try to understand the times, I want to encourage you, remember how the story ends. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't yet, please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye!